The legendary vampire Dracula was created by the author Bram Stoker in his 1897 novel of the same name. Though Dracula is a purely fictional creation, Stoker named his character after a real person, Vlad III or as he is better known, Vlad the Impaler. The morbid nickname is a testament to the Wallace and Prince's favorite way of dispensing with his enemies. Vlad the Impaler was Voivod or Prince of Wallachia three times between 1448 and his death. He was the second son of Vlad Dracul, who became the ruler of Wallachia in 1436. To consolidate his power as Voivod, Vlad needed to quell the incessant conflicts that had historically taken place between Wallachia's boyars, according to legends that circulate after his death. Vlad had invited hundreds of these boyars to a banquet, and knowing they would challenge his authority had his guests stabbed and their still twitching bodies impaled on spikes. Dracula is linked to Transylvania, but the real historic Dracula, Vlad III never owned anything in Transylvania. Because the castle is in the mountains in this foggy area and it looks spooky, it's what one would expect of Dracula's castle. The Impaler died in 1476 while marching to yet another battle with the Ottomans. Vlad and a small vanguard of soldiers were ambushed and he was killed by disloyal Wallace and Boyars. But there are five variants of Vlad's death. Local legends say that a creepy figure was seen around the village near Dracula's castle, a figure that seek revenge on boyars that betrayed Vlad the Impaler by killing their descendants. <laughs>